Hi, I'm Dan, here with Paul. Today we're going to discuss the flood safe water detector shut off. So Paul, what do we have here? Well Dan, every year, leaking water heaters cost millions of dollars worth of damage. Watts has the solution. What we're going to do is start by simulating a leaking water heater. What am I hearing here? What you're hearing, Dan, is the audible alarm on the control unit. You're also seeing a red indicating lamp, indicating that there has been a leak detected. Now, what we've done is we've shut off the water supply to the water heater, and we've shut off the power to the water heater at the same time. One of the nice features about this product is that it can be wired to a monitored security system, such as your ABT or Wells Fargo system. Let's silence it, and we'll show you the rest of the features. This is the control unit. It's the heart of the system. It contains all of the circuitry to operate the system. It also contains all of the interconnecting sockets that are used with the cable supplied. It also houses the valve, which shuts off the water supply. This is a full flow valve, which meets all national codes. This is the water detector pad. The water detector pad sits on the floor or in a drain pan underneath the water heater. It detects as little as one sixteenth of an inch of water. It is a solid state circuit. It is There are no contacts to rot or corrode or rust away, so this will last for years and years and years without any issue. We have a water dam that's also supplied with it. If you have a hard surface such as concrete or linoleum, you can use this or else it'll need a uh, drain pan. This is the power cutout module. This happens to be on a gas valve, but the power cutout module is available for oil fired, or gas fired, or electric water heaters. So we cover all of the different types of water heaters. We've corrected the leak condition. We've wiped off the water detector pad. Okay. So it's now completely dry. And now you can reset this control. Simply turn this slot. Back in business. Just like that. Water is supplied to the water heater, power comes back on, and we're ready for the next. There it goes. Dan, the TNP valve is installed on every single water heater. It is there to protect against over temperature and over pressure conditions. If it were to discharge, and the water detector pad were to sense that water condition, we need to not only shut off the water supply, we have to shut off the power to the water heater simultaneously to prevent an explosive and potentially very dangerous condition. For more information, contact your local Watts rep or visit our website at watts.com. Thanks again for joining us.